so I'm at Costco to do my big grocery shop for this next two weeks. I have just gotten here much later than I wanted to. It's 11, 17. I usually try to arrive at open. Um, Costco is a couple hours away from me, but I am on a journey to eat healthier. <laughs> and Costco has all of the nice organic things. But with that said, I do live in the middle of nowhere on our farm and even Walmart's almost an hour away from me. So everything is far away from me. And I was thinking about Proverbs 31 this morning when I was getting ready. And Proverbs 31 says that a wife of noble character is like a merchant ship bringing her food and goods from afar. And I was like, that's me. <laughs> I am going afar to bring this stuff home to our grace filled farm and hopefully make good choices. I'm sure not everything I choose will be healthy and organic and perfect. However, it's not about being perfect, it's about being better. And that's the point of this. So let's go see what Costco has new. It's been a hot minute since I've been here and I'm excited. I would also like to do some fall shopping soon. So all of the fun things are coming. But for now, Costco. Nexus shampoo's on sale for $20. That used to be my favorite shampoo growing up. The Aveeno lotion is on sale for $13.99. I really do think that these are the kinds of things that are well-priced at Costco and Sam's. I love these cutting boards. I don't have a round cutting board and I think I could use this. Candles for $19.99. I've looked at these a couple times coming here and they just, they actually don't smell fantastic. I want them to, but they really don't. I've been looking for a good protein powder, but they always seem to have either soy or seed oils in them. I would love a recommendation if you have one. All of the snack things. I don't want to buy too many snacks today, but of course we have to buy some. This looks good. Different kinds of nuts stuffed into dates. I don't know what that would taste like. It's probably great, but it sounds strange to me. All of the good jerkies. I think I'm going to get this bison jerky. I love having something like this as a snack in case. Yeah, protein snack. Yay. <laughs> this is a fun buy. 100% natural organic lip balm. Fun. $10.99. The good for you bread. I got my Dave's bread in there. There's some naan down there. Some mini brioche rolls for $4.99. That's kind of interesting. These would make some good little sandwiches. A good brioche and that's not horribly priced. Very good. Some gluten-free pita bread. I'd like to make my own of these things, but yeah, throw that in the freezer as well if you needed to. That would be good. I'm looking for, there are a couple of brands of crackers here that don't have seed oils, which I'm always excited about. So I'm going to grab those. I like these. These are great ingredients. My children really enjoy those. It's hard to find a good cracker that doesn't have seed oils. I tend to make my own, but it's nice to not have to sometimes. Green olives. I don't mind green olives, but no one else in my house would eat them. I don't love them, but I would eat them happily. Pickles. Home of the world's hottest hot sauce pack down here for $22.99. <laughs> Interesting. Mustard. The avocado mayo. Chicken stock. I prefer to just make my own. Chicken noodle soup, $13.49. This is probably a good buy just to have. Superfood bites. Let's take a look at this one. 
good. And it has sunflower oil in it. They ruined it for us. I would have bought this. They could have just not put the seed oils in it. Hmm. Freeze dried fruit crisps. Interesting. Ramen, all of the noodles. This is my organic ramen that I buy. Organic tomato sauce. I love all of the organic canned food options that Costco has to offer. I can't really find the same at Sam's. Organic tomato paste. Okay, this I'm going to get because I have had so many recipes lately calling for tomato paste and I'm using way more of it than usual. All of the canned veggies and beans, good to have in your pantry just because. Crackers and chips of all kinds for that back to school lunch. A ready wise container. I enjoy buying this organic vermicelli. I make my children a soup out of this that they love for lunch. All of the organic pasta. Pink salmon, wild caught. My children like those Madres lentils. Organic grains of all kinds. I've never used this before. I'm not sure what you would make with some of this. <laughs> Black seed. Chia seeds, ooh, organic chia seeds. I am tempted to buy this. This would be good to have. This is a great rice to have. It's vacuum sealed. It comes with a handle, $16.99, and it's organic. A great preparedness kind of food all of the seasonings. I tend to try to buy one new something whenever I come for my big shop, but I feel like I have a lot of seasonings right now, so I'm not going to, and I don't see anything new or interesting particularly. Garlic, all of the dried bouillons, $12.49 for a case of evaporated milk. I think this is also one of those things that's good to have just in case of an emergency in your pantry. Chocolate chips, all of the organic sugars. Do I need a brown sugar? Maybe $7.99 for the big bag. I don't know if I need this or not. Pecans and nuts. I just had a sample of this and it was really good. Honey, my children love this cereal and it's a good for you cereal. This one's good too, I like that one. Maple syrup. Mm. Almond butter, I've never bought this one before but I think we're going to try it. This is a great organic oatmeal. It's important to buy your oatmeal organic. I like these tea towels, how fall do these look? I like the muted fall tones this year. I bought the new white bath towels, but I didn't buy the hand towels, and I would like to buy the hand towels. <laughs> and maybe next time I'll get the wash rags. I probably need new wash rags too. There's the hand towels. I'm definitely going to get this. I love the bath towels I got. All the toys are coming out. Can you believe that it's that time of year already? foosball table. I love these arcade games. Pac-Man. How fun is Pac-Man? My old house had a game room. We do not have that at our farm, but I wish we did just for the sake of having this. So fun. This is neat too. This is the table of Pac-Man. I think I like the other one better, but this one's very interesting. And it's about, yeah, it goes all the way up to my chest. It's pretty tall. 
Legos, always a winner at my household. My children love Lego. There's the Minecraft Lego, that's interesting. And then the Animal Crossing Lego. $21.99 for the flower pots, that's pretty good. $60 for the truck, I think I saw that for $70 somewhere, so that's pretty good. All of the trick-or-treating pails, Squishmallow style, fun. Gifts for the golfer in your life. All the different golfing things. Dress up dresses, costumes out for Halloween. Pretty sweaters. Great gifts too. I always think clothing makes a great gift. As does books. Books are a great gift as well. I love a good book as you know. Science Explorers, Star Wars, Funny Forest, Bluey, little Bluey box set. I don't remember if I have that Granny's book or not, but love it. Big sticker pads, Monet, a beautiful table book. All of the learning books, I always love those. My son had this frog book over a decade ago. Funny to see that around again. More a bluey boxed set. That's fun. That would be a great gift. Learn by sticker. I love these. I probably should get this. Brain Quest. Like I always say, if you have a child under the age of 10, really, these comprehensive books are more than sufficient to teach them what they need to know for that grade level, especially things like kindergarten and first grade. All of the plants, I am in love with house plants. <laughs> I love them. I love how they purify my air, and I just, I love all the plants, especially right now. This ficus is well-priced, and they are lovely, and it comes in its own little basket and everything. I love this. All the little plants today. TVs. Do you remember when TVs cost so much more than that? <laughs> like, I feel like TVs have gone down in price, especially for what you're getting these days. Appliances. I always need new appliances around here. Mine last hardly at all. <laughs> <laughs> now is a great time to buy school supplies if you need any because it they're just the best price right now sharpies a 32 count is $9.97 that's a great price for sharpies if you need to stock up on those I know that I use them all the time around here that's a very good price I have that little heating disc and it works really well. My husband uses it in his workshop during the winter. I love the fresh door mats seasonally. I think I'm going to get this one. This is lovely. I want one of those Ninja Creamies. Maybe whenever we start milking our goat, I can have all of the ice cream. Air fryers. I still do not own an air fryer. I don't know if I want to. I've read some I don't know, controversial things on them and the toxins in them. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I want one, but I'm unsure. How do you like yours if you have one? I would love to know about it. All of the containers. I probably need a new set of Pyrex or something right now. I feel like all of mine have been broken recently. All of the serving bowls, getting ready for the holidays, if you need something like that. More water bottles. Batteries are a good price. I grabbed the wrong one. You always want the Kirkland brand. They're made in the same factory for less. Wrapping paper, can you believe it? Oh my goodness. 
<laughs> Christmas bows, advent calendars, more candles. Always love Bluey, the princess dolls. These command strips are a great price at $11.99 for the mega pack. I feel like these are always useful. All of the vehicle things, car cleaner, turtle wax, shop rags, all of the things for a workshop or car. Sun dried figs, all of the dried fruit. Salads, my children love this chopped everything salad over here. It's organic, $8.99 for two. All of the fruit, the strawberries have been well priced recently for the organic ones. Always a good buy. The carrots are always well priced. $3.89 for that huge bag. If you're going to make a big stew or a bone broth or something that needs all of those root vegetables, that's a good one to buy. $14.99. This is interesting. Mango steams. I'm not even sure I know what that is. <laughs> I wonder if they're good. Have you had them before? Here's those well-priced strawberries. $5.99 for the big thing of organic. Sausages. I always try to get some of these and put them in my freezer. Beef has gone up in price. Have you noticed that? It has gotten so expensive. I feel like a lot of these pre-made meals, I like to look at them and get ideas for my own meals, but I don't necessarily buy them. All of these would make a really great freezer meal idea. Meatballs, I would love to make some meatballs and freeze them. I've done that before. I always try to get something like this for my husband. He enjoys this as a snack. I enjoy the smoked salmon on toast for breakfast. Organic garlic can't beat that price. I think this will be my husband's meat snack. All the different olives. This is well priced for nice olives. The different dips and dressings. $13.99. The sausage. Throw blankets. How fun. Little cake pops and macaroons. All of the dog items, noticing that dog advent calendar over there. The chicken melts are on sale. Cat scratcher. Well priced. Coffee. Looking for some good organic coffee. Let's see what the best priced one is. Some more meal ideas. This one's new to me. Guava nectar, it's organic. All of the drinks. Starbucks pink drink. I'm actually not a fan of the pink drinks. It's always good to have a little bit of water on hand. I'm trying to decide if I should bring home some ice cream to my kiddos, but I don't think it's gonna make it in this heat. 
I am done with Costco. I have everything in coolers ready to go home and on ice. Don't worry. I thought we would peek at at home and see what they have new for fall. I love these big candles and I love the color of this one. Christmas. Oh my goodness. I feel like they don't have as much fall decor here as I want them to have. And I definitely didn't miss it because I've checked here regularly pumpkin everything what a cute mat is that for $13 that's not bad adorable fall hay rides I just bought the big mat at Costco for $10 but I do like that pumpkin one all of the fall stems I like that dark red also like the soft yellows the leaves are pretty let's see how much you are hmm all of the little potted plants this one's cute have one of those I have the yellow one all of the pumpkins those would look cute sitting by a front door all of the signs wreaths I have a wreath that I hang in my house but I really need one for the front door that would be nice. All the wreath hangers over here, all different kinds. The dried flowers. I like this simple look, $24.99. I like that. I think it might be a little bit cheaper at Hobby Lobby for some very similar looking things. More wreaths. All of the kitchen things over here, kitchen mats for $4.99, pumpkin spice and everything nice. That's cute. Table runners and place mats and napkins if you want to create that special tablescape for fall. At the house I used to have, I had a beautiful dining room with a huge table and I would have liked these leaves. I think I would have picked these out to layer on my table. I love those. My farmhouse does not have a formal dining room and I tend to keep my kitchen table somewhat simple. However, I love the concept of decorating a beautiful dining room table for Thanksgiving with all of the bits and bobs, loving the turkey plates and that pattern of napkins. I love the fruit topiaries, again, in that formal space, if you have that. And all of the bronze pumpkins and cornucopias, very elegant and lovely. More wreaths and garlands. I think I had that wreath right there with all the blues and greens. I went through a season where I enjoyed that for Thanksgiving. However, now I just really like the traditional colors and kind of those muted natural tones. I, I think I used to have that wreath. <laughs> the little potted plant. All of the metal signs. Lots of football things. I love that pumpkin sign up there in the fall bucket list. The pumpkin, I like this pumpkin. Very pretty. Kind of heavy. All of the bits and bobs for tiered trays. I like this leaf. I'm not sure what I would do with it. Maybe I would put it on my side table. $20. It's pretty, I like it. I'm not sure though. Hello, fall pillows and blankets. 
A lot of different kinds of mushrooms. They're definitely on trend if you like mushrooms. A little wooden mushroom for $5. All of the gourds and pumpkins. This little leaf matches that big leaf we saw before. Pumpkin teapots and pumpkin pie pans. All of the pumpkin things. Christmas, we might as well peek at it and see what they have going on. There's not a lot here yet, but there definitely is some things. A lot of spring clearance over there as well. I'd like some new curtains in several areas of my home. This is a pretty color for fall, but I don't like these grommets and I feel like a lot of the curtains have these big silver grommets in them. Maybe Ikea will have something I would like a little bit better. I need curtains for my bedroom, my boys room, and I'd like something fresh in our playroom. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking Ikea for curtains. This is cute to hold a bunch of flowers in. I kind of wish it didn't have that black spot on the handle. I would like it a bit better, but still pretty. Dishes and serveware, all of the pretty wooden cutting boards. I love all of the wooden things. Utensil holders. I recently bought a new utensil holder that I love. It's a big crock off of Amazon. I'll link it below in case you're in the market for one. I love mine. things silverware I need new silverware my silverware disappears do your children lose your silverware too is it just me baskets I love the baskets I need a new large basket for my stairs we keep a big basket at the bottom of our stairs and any of the children's things that make their way downstairs during the day get tossed into the basket and then at bedtime at night carry the basket up and sort it all away it's just an easy way to kind of upkeep with all of those kid things that make their way downstairs all of the children's decor love redoing a children's room so much fun. Avocado, big avocado pillows. Love the rainbow lamp, so much fun. It's so fun redoing a children's room. All of the fun things. Seahorse and a unicorn. All of the cute hampers. I love that little fox up there. 
That's adorable. That'd be so cute in my boys' room for fall. I thought that this little pumpkin opened up, but it does not. $10, big heavy wooden pumpkin. This is an awesome candle. Olive wood and bergamot. A little pricey, $40. More than a little pricey, <laughs> very pricey. I like this wooden acorn. I have a thing for acorns. $10, mango wood, I like this. A cute fall throw, there's that leaf again. I like that wreath. Maybe that would be good for my front door. There's the garland to match. Some throw pillows. Thankful, lovely. I like that farmer's market sign. That is cute. Organic products, lovely. Pillows, all the pretty pillows. Happy fall, y'all. <laughs> Very Southern. I like the pumpkin, fun. My children would love that. The silhouette of a squirrel, eight dollars. This is pretty. Farm fresh pumpkins, there's that sign again. Look at this corn. I have no idea what I would do with that, but there's something about it I really like. How cute is that? Do I need corn? Where would I put this? <laughs> hmm. Well priced as well. A piece of pumpkin pie pillow. Cute. I could see one of these on each of my boys' beds for fall. That would be cute. Maybe I should do that. I want to buy my boys' bunk beds and redo their room, but I'm not sure when that's going to be, especially with us getting a new fridge and a new couch right now. That's a long story. I'll explain that later. So wetter weather. Oh, I like this. This is my style of fall. $19.99. Cute. I like this. There's the coordinating one that says harvest. I like this too. And it is also $19.99. Cute cups. All the soaps, all the fun things at the checkout line that <laughs> I'm trying to check out, but you have to look just a little bit. Don't buy those command strips. Those were way cheaper at Costco. Let's head into Target. I saw that they had some organic food options that I can't find other places, at least not anywhere near me. 
and I am excited to look. Organic ranch dressing. This. This is actually why I came in here. So I'm going to get two bottles of that. Look at all of the different organic nut butters. I never look in the Target grocery section, or not really. I might get some odd macaroni from Annie's here, but that's about it. All of the organic beans. They have some options that I just can't find other places, like these cannellini beans. Organic ketchup. All the different kinds. Some are better prices than others, that's for sure. This is the best priced one. These rice packs are good just to have in a pinch when you need something quick and easy and they have all of these organic options, which I am loving. I wish they had organic Spanish rice. That's probably really hard to source organically. They have the organic coconut aminos. I saw online that they also had organic sesame seed oil, which is interesting because that I have never seen before. And while I do try to refrain from seed oils, some of these Asian dishes just require it. I wanted to see if I could find it. My daughter would love this Hello Kitty. She loves everything Hello Kitty. So this is interesting. It's my organic ramen brand that I like from Costco. Big thing of organic quinoa, good to have on hand. This is not organic, <laughs> but you gotta have a little bit of queso in your life, organic or not. All of the different types of macaroni. We love Annie's macaroni. I usually have a whole section in my pantry devoted to it because it's just such an easy lunch for my children and they still love it. However, I have gotten a bunch of that from Costco. I'm still gonna get a few of these Disney ones for something different. They have all the different ones here. Look at all of the organic pasta. Very good whole wheat organic spaghetti, all of the quick oatmeal organic style. Love that. They have organic pancake confetti mix. How fun. This might be just a really easy fun breakfast. I had the most bizarre moment in the grocery section of Target. I was filming the groceries and enjoying looking for all of the organic things. And a young mother with a three month old baby came up to me whispering and she said, I'm being followed. Can I stay with you? And I was like, of course. And then I was like, can I walk you up to security? Maybe they can help you because you know bizarre situation um she even showed me a picture of a man on her phone that she said she was very scared of and i was like yep okay let's go to security let me help you and she said she went to security and they would not help her and they would not walk her to her car as she requested which i found very odd and she wanted me to stay with her until her husband came to pick her up so I did this, um, obviously stopped filming during that time. Awkward, made me feel really uncomfortable. So after I left the grocery section, I am now quickly looking at the little Magnolia section and Studio McGee things, and I'm gonna head out of Target. Target, you did not make me feel good. And what kind of security is that that won't walk a young mother to her car when she feels threatened? Some bedding. I feel like all of these colors would work for fall throughout a home. Some pumpkin spice and espresso pods. These are not organic, but I feel that I need them. 
I feel like there are so many things that I meant to look at in Target and that I wanted to look at. However, I'm going to head out because I do feel a little bit rattled by my last 45 minutes with a very obviously distressed woman. So I don't know. Now I feel uncomfortable here as well. I found the biggest thrift store that I have probably ever been to just nearby Target. Look at these Sperry boots. These are so cute for a little one. They have so much here. It's like a huge, amazing garage sale. I love it. I love the thrill of the find. <laughs> Look at this Michael Kors bag. The books. I'm here for the books. Let's face it. Most of them are $1.49. This looks brand new. Love a good houseplant book. All of the things. Interesting. I actually heard a good review about this book for school. Farmer Boy, that's always a good buy. Fantastic slow cooker recipes, love that. Look at this beautiful book for children. I am a sucker for a beautiful book. This is interesting, a copper hot plate. Cast iron, always good. Fun plate for your toddlers. Starbucks cups for a dollar each, those are lovely. I am so excited about this. These bags of books are anywhere from 75 cents to $2.99 a bag. I thought we would pop into Dollar Tree to see what's new. They still have all of the fun school supplies and little backpacks, all of the things, more of those awesome rainbow LED light bulbs my children love. Fall signs are out, fall sweet, fall affordable sweetness. I like this weekly calendar where you just rip away the page. I'm not sure where I would put this or if I need it, but I think it is so incredibly useful. I love all of those written plans that help you stay organized. All of the fall crafts. My children love a good craft. So I'm probably going to pick up a few of these because it's just, it's so convenient just to pick up that one and done little set. Look at these beads. Aren't these cute? The little acorns. Very cute. For a tiered tray or such. All the flowers at Dollar Tree. This one has little mushrooms as well. What a fun pin for school. I love these metal band-aid boxes. I've picked up several now. I have never seen the unicorn one up here. They're just so cute. Little blemish patches. I haven't seen those here before. Reusable lunch bags. Hi guys, I am back home after a long day of shopping. 12 hours to be exact. I was gone 12 hours shopping, <laughs> but this is my twice a month shop to gather all of the goods from afar for my family. I can't wait to share it with you. I bought so much. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Okay, if you have seen my hauls before, you know I usually try to put them here and on this table, but today, they are all around my kitchen. They are even on my windowsill. We have filled the kitchen with the things and <laughs> I'm gonna have to add this up and I'll put the total in the title. I don't even know how much I spent. Let's think about it for a second. Uh, I did two trips in Costco. I did dry goods first and then I did frozen and cold a second and that would be 1200. And then I spent another 100 at Target, that's 1300 40 at Dollar Tree, 60 at Thrifting, 1500 1600 lots of money. <laughs> All right, let's talk about, let's talk about Costco 
first. So this is many layers here. I bought a big thing of string cheese because it's been a while since I bought string cheese and my children just really enjoy it. So I got that. I got one pack of Dave's bread. I wanted tortillas, but I wanted the big tortillas and they didn't have that, unfortunately. I'm gonna do a Walmart shop tomorrow. Can you believe that? So there's gonna be more to this. This is, is going to have a part two tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm gonna pick up some things tomorrow as well. I bought the pretty fall mat that hopefully you saw in my shop with me. It says, welcome. I bought the beef bulgogi for my husband because he really enjoys this. The two chopped anything salads or chopped everything salads. My children fight over these. <laughs> they love them, which makes me happy. And I really enjoy it too. So we will have those. I probably should have bought more, but oh, long story. Let's talk about this for a second. I meant to go to Nebraska Furniture Mart today. Our house is falling apart. <laughs> Everything's falling apart at once. Our refrigerator stopped working. Mm. So I had three mini fridges around my property. So we are using those like the little tiny refrigerators and two of my freezers stopped working. Fun. And, and if we want to keep adding to this, you know, the dishwasher I'm always complaining about. Bosch finally, finally decided to help me. So Long story short, because I talk about it way too much because it's been a frustration of mine. I got a beautiful Bosch dishwasher. One of, the, I think the most expensive one you can buy from Bosch. It's supposed to be great, fantastic. Spent a lot of money on this. Worked six weeks, broke. No problem, I have the extended warranty, yay. Okay, just rounding this up really quickly. Finally, now, how many months has it been? Gosh, it stopped working in like, what was it, January? And we're in August, that long, of emails and phone calls and communication. And they finally went, we have no one to service your dishwasher in your area. And we're like, we've been saying that for months. <laughs> Can you please just replace the dishwasher that doesn't work? They're not going to replace it. They're going to give us money back to buy a new one. But not as much money as we spent, about $500 less which we kind of went, well, that's not right. You should replace the dishwasher that broke. Don't even care anymore. We're just gonna take as much money as they'll give us and run because we have argued with them so much over it. No, Bosch, what? Don't buy Bosch. <laughs> that's my review. Okay, so let's look at this. This is my empty refrigerator spot. Well, the good news is it gave me a great opportunity to deep clean behind the refrigerator. So there's that. So I bought very little refrigerated things in this haul because I have those three mini fridges that I'm keeping hot and they're full of milk and soon to be string cheese and salad. So very little of what I would normally buy with refrigerated things. And it doesn't stop there. On top of my blender stopping working and my hand mixer that I used for canning, that stopped working too. My couch got a hole in it. So there will be a fabulous video coming soon with a new couch. Yay, new couch. <laughs> I'm actually really excited to get a new couch, but I was like, they're just whole. My children wore it out. They wore it out. That's another conversation about what kind of couch I should get that can handle my six children. I don't know, but okay, back to groceries. <laughs> All right, and where were we? All right, so I bought a thing of chicken nuggets because for $13, you know, it's good just to have one of those kind of meals on hand. No antibiotics ever, yay, yay, Purdue. And then I bought these chicken patties for chicken burgers one night. I still need to buy those hamburger buns. How many was there in here? It said, I thought it said, there's quite a few. We get a couple meals out of that, even for my family of eight. So if this is your first time, I do have six children and we are a family of eight. Popsicles, yay for popsicles. I'm actually gonna call one of my kiddos to get those in the freezer immediately because they've had a long day. All right, that is my door squeaking with my teenager taking the popsicles straight to the freezer. It is so hot here today. I have never bought these mild Italian sausages before, but I wanted to try them. It looked like something, I can do something with this. <laughs> so in fact, I think I have a dinner recipe on here that is fabulous for this. And that'll probably get two of those meals out of soup, a good fall and winter soup recipe. So yay for that. Got these for my husband. I always try to think of him and things he loves. And um, he likes to stack on hot dogs, which I tell him is just not good. So we're trying to upgrade <laughs> that bad habit from this and this, yay. Although I like this too, a little bit pricey, but you know what, trying to eat those better things, yay. The chicken and apple sausages, that's just a good buy and they're all natural. The ingredients is actually, it's pretty clean compared to most of the stuff you buy like that. So 
double A batteries. We go through all of the batteries in my house and I saw the other day that our little battery container had no double A's in it. So lots of triple A's, no double A's. <laughs> I went ahead and picked that up as well. Got some command strips. These were a fantastic price. You saw that in my shop with me. So much more affordable than Walmart, Target, or even Amazon. I use these to hang up all of those birthday banners for birthday season and all of our events. And I want to try to hang a picture with it. It says 16 pound capacity. And I'm just going to put a bunch of these on it. It's a very light picture, but it does have glass. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. It's actually a picture for the schoolroom of Ratatouille, which is kind of like, it's a long story. <laughs> but anyways, I want to hang that. And then I got some strawberries. Fantastic price for organic strawberries. I think they were, what, $4.99? Is that correct from my video? I think so, something like that. But it's huge. It's a huge container. So that is just fantastic. Two things of bananas for the monkeys. A big thing of cream cheese. I have several crock pot meals that call for cream cheese. Two things of butter. I will throw those in the freezer and we will use them for a while. And then I bought the ultra pricey 6176 for ribeyes for my husband because he works really hard for us. This this was hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm like, that's a lot of money. But it's four dinners for him. He doesn't particularly like when I make some of the healthier meals for the children that have lentils and such in them, which is fine because I'm still going to make those. But when I do, he can have a steak with it. <laughs> so, you know, I told him as long as he keeps funding me, I will, I will buy him the ribeyes. <laughs> <laughs> and I needed all of the funding today. <laughs> I got two big things of organic spaghetti because we were out of spaghetti. And there is so much going on in the world right now. Let's talk about that real quick. So here on our grace-filled farm, we live by faith, not by fear. However, I followed two ministers who keep talking about things happening before the election. And, you know, ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I know that we live in end times. <laughs> And things happen. I don't know what that may be. So, but it's good to have all of those preparedness things. Pasta is such a good one. But with all of this in mind, there's some people I really respect. Some ministers I really respect. And um, I'm just listening. So if you know, you know. With that said, I, during this shop, I did bear some of that in mind. And I went, you know what? Let's buy some extra pasta. So oh, I did that. These back here, super greens. Okay, this is my second time now buying this. I absolutely love them. They are, are organic. They have 45 calories for one. Do drink it on ice because it is much better with ice. But during kind of that time between lunch and dinner where I get a little bit hungry and I feel like I need something, I have one of these. And it completely, I feel like it gives me energy and it's refreshing and I just really like it. I feel like I'm doing something good for my body and it gets me kind of through that midday tired, you know, trying to make it till dinner time. I, I just, I recommend this one. It was a little bit pricey. It was on sale today. I think it was 20, the, you know what, this was priced two different ways. At the entrance, it said $27 or something like that. But then in the middle of the aisles, it said 21 I'll have to check my receipt and see what I actually paid. Hopefully the 21. But I feel I feel really good about this. 45 servings. So this will last me over a month. And like I said, it is just that. It's the energy that I feel like my body craves. So yay for that. Now I bought all of the towels. And I think I forgot to share them with you for my bathroom. I bought everyone new big white fluffy towels. Yay. And I hadn't bought the hand towels. And I saw them today. And I thought I better buy the hand towels before they don't have them anymore. I've gotten rid of all of the colored towels, you know, those towels that you get for your wedding. Yes, I've been married almost 17 years and still using those towels. So <laughs> it was time for new towels. Just can't keep everything forever. And I wanted simplicity. I crave simplicity. I am not the person that just wants to throw away everything and be super, super minimalist. It's okay if you are, I'm not that person. However, I do want things organized, clean, and simple. No color towels, no extra towels, white. Yay. <laughs> so I'm very excited about that. And I have the white towels just kind of folded nicely in a little glass cabinet in my bathroom. It brings me joy when I see the white towels. So <laughs> I got these crackers, the almond flour crackers. They have good for you ingredients in them, and I feel good about my children eating them. Some chicken breast, again, for that just preparedness. Good to have on the shelf. I'd love to can, pressure can my own chicken. 
It's on my list. It's all on my list, <laughs> but I haven't gotten there yet. Two things of the wild caught pink salmon. Recently, for the first time, I made salmon patties. I had never made salmon patties for my family, and they loved them, and it was actually a really good meal that I felt good about, and I love the wild caught. That's the best one. Good, good, all the good good preparedness. <laughs> Got that. One more thing of organic maple syrup. We were out. And then back here behind, I got two boxes of the no added sugar organic blueberry almond crunch. My children enjoy this one. So good to have on hand. And then up here, we have the organics super fruit freeze pops much more affordable than any other store at the big box stores, so yay for that. And then if you just saw me touching it, Mr. Ficus, because I am obsessed with the houseplants, loving Mr. Ficus over here. So I need all of the houseplants. Then I got a thing of organic apples. These won't even last the night. They won't last the night in my house. I probably should have bought three bags, but there we are. <laughs> two things of the Annie's macaroni. I would normally only buy one, but again, keeping that in mind that fall is a bit precarious, I bought two. And then my children really enjoy this. For a simple lunch, we like to get out these organic rice ramens and I make the good broth and cook them in it. And it's just such an easy lunch. And they're, they're better than the ramen noodles because they are organic and such. So it's just a healthier version. Another thing I really want to pressure can is bone broth. Maybe I'll share that with you soon. I would love to. In fact, that's probably first on my list. I have all of those bones in my freezer from Marcao and they gotta get out. And with fall and winter coming, what a good thing to have in my cupboard. And this, they had samples of it at Costco and I tried it and I loved it. And the ingredients, I always check them. They were fantastic. They are oat and chia berry fairy. There are 14 portions. I just, I really liked this. I see us eating this. And then I got the organic guava nectar. I've never had the guava nectar before. I like to get these juices and I flavor our water with it. So we don't just drink the straight juice. I'll get a big cup of ice water and put a splash of a juice in it. And it just kind of gives it that little something. And we enjoy that. <laughs> so that is what I have in mind for that. And then I bought the organic wild blueberry jam. I bought an organic almond butter. And I also got the organic strawberry jam. We are low on jams. I need to can my fall jam that I've shared with you before. It's definitely that time of year. My children look forward to that. Organic bean vermicelli. I kind of make this like the ramen noodles. I'll cook it in a really good broth and sometimes throw in some dumplings if I have them. And my children just really enjoy it as a warm lunch. So again, just a really good preparedness thing to have on hand because it'll just keep and keep. And then back here, let's back up a bit so you can see my new fantastic pizza cutting board. <laughs> I just really liked it. Um, I don't have a round cutting board. I have all of my cutting boards layered back there. They're a bit hidden right now. And um, I don't have a round one and I just liked it. That was a treat for me, yay. And then I went ahead and bought the hand towels. Let's come over here. I bought the hand towels because they looked like fall and I feel like I can always use new hand towels. We go through them very quickly around here <laughs> and mine are looking raggedy. So yay, yay for this. The organic pita chips, love this. I can easily eat a handful of these for lunch with some chicken salad or such and just, yeah, love that. Organic pretzel crisp, my children enjoy this. Easy side to keep on hand, organic cilantro and lime rice. I needed all of the tomato paste because I'm doing so many crock pot meals right now and they all call for tomato paste, I feel like. So I was running low on tomato paste and I noticed that that was a really good price there. Then over here, I got the two big bags of organic unbleached flour for all of that sourdough for my Isabella, the sourdough starter. She has to be fed and used and that is for her. And then I went ahead and bought this with preparedness in mind. Um, just good to have something like that on hand. And I really don't have anything like that right now. So eight of those. Same with evaporated milk. Probably not the healthiest choice for milk, but good to have on hand. So, and there has been times I've ran out of milk and went, oh no, I need such and such milk for such and such recipe and been so glad that I had the evaporated milk. So that is good. Hopefully, our goat will have babies. She is getting married tomorrow. We are going to pick up her Prince Charming. I'll have to add that in here before I do my Walmart shop. So hopefully before the end of the year, we have a baby and we can milk her soon. And 
like I've said all year, this is the year of dairy and it has taken me all year to get there. But yay, we're doing things, we're getting it done. I'm so excited. Annie's Organic Cheese Puffs. <laughs> I have not bought any form of cheese puffs in so long. And I saw these and I thought, treat for my children, they will be so happy. And so we got that. Tortilla chips, like I always say, those are for mama because I love them. <laughs> and the super expensive chosen mayo because I just cannot get the homemade mayo recipe right. If you know the secret to awesome homemade mayo, please comment below and let me know your secret because every time I make it, it is awful. <laughs> so I got that. Waffles for just something easy peasy in my freezer. I remembered this time to buy laundry detergent. Yay for me for remembering. This organic rice, I have bought this before and it's really well priced. I have, I think it was $16.99 today. I have seen it go as low as $13.99. And last time it was $13.99, I bought a lot of it. Um, but we are almost out and this is 20 pounds of organic rice. So for $16.99, I can feed a lot of people with that. My children love rice, talk about preparedness. So good to have. Organic coffee beans. I am just not gonna be very fancy right now. I'm gonna use my coffee pot and keep it simple. Although I say that and I bought myself a treat at Target. We'll get to that. <laughs> but as a norm, we're gonna go with the coffee pot. Paper plates because of the dishwasher situation, as you know. All right, but that was a mouthful. A little bit more of Costco over here. I have a thing of drumsticks and the chicken thighs. So the drumsticks are so affordable. $9.73, my children absolutely love them. The chicken thighs are $30, mm, but good meals. Good meals from my family. Tater tots, they just, they my children love them. So there they are, healthy or not. <laughs> and a good organic oatmeal, a good preparedness thing to have in the pantry. And we are actually ridiculously low on oatmeal. I usually have tons of oatmeal and I did not. And then one little roast lamb back here because my husband is Australian and that is his favorite. So that is going in the freezer. Over here, two little beautiful things from at home. I got my sweater weather for hopefully my new couch very soon without the hole, yay. And I got what I think is an acorn with a lid. I'm gonna set my entryway because my husband needs somewhere to put his things. He comes in from work and he just dumps like all of his things on my side table, which is a no-no. I started to get a leaf tray, if you saw that in my shop with me, and then I thought, no, I, I want his stuff hidden. <laughs> I don't really want to see all his stuff laying there. And this, this is gonna be his little secret acorn. He's gonna put all his stuff in it. Yay for, yay for me <laughs> for hiding all of the nonsense. Target, okay, so Target has organic options that they just don't have anywhere else. So I was excited to find some of them. This is definitely not organic. However, I got super happy because fall is my favorite. If you've been around here, I love fall. I just, I don't really like the heat of the summer. I love my garden. I love the beautiful flowers, but it's just too hot. <laughs> and I am looking forward to fall and the smell of pumpkin spice. This is from my Nespresso machine. Yay, not too expensive. So because it's a little box, little treat for me. There's eight of them. I think they're about a dollar a pod, but this is a dessertish type thing for me at the end of a hard day. <laughs> <laughs> so that, I got one little thing of organic brown rice, just again for preparedness to put in my pantry. I got six things of Annie's macaroni. My children love the puppies one and the Disney one, so I got that. And then I knew they'd be so happy to see Cheerios back in their life. We have not had Cheerios in a long time because it's hard to find organic. So I saw these and I thought my children will really appreciate that. So I got that and then I got this organic cereal as well and the peanut butter. And I definitely have children who love peanut butter, so that's great. The pumpkin spice oatmeal, I am so excited about all the pumpkin spice. <laughs> and then a little thing of organic strawberry banana oatmeal as well. That'll be a good breakfast. I was excited to find organic ranch dressing. I didn't even know there was such a thing. So this will be fantastic. Organic ketchup, yay. And then two things of organic cannell cannellini. Why couldn't I say that? <laughs> cannellini beans. I was looking for these recently for a recipe and I couldn't find them. And I ended up substituting it with something else. So I saw this and I was like, I'm gonna get the cannellini beans while they can be found. <laughs> so I went ahead and got two of those. One thing of organic pen, just a good easy meal. My children love the pasta stuff. So we often, about once a week, have some kind of pasta lunch. 
And then I saw the organic confetti pancakes and I thought my children will go wild if they see this. So what a fun breakfast for them. So I picked that up. Now, over here at Dollar Tree, we got all of the weird knick-knacky things. I am buying all of the kind of fun little school supplies for their special first day of school. You know, we school year around, we homeschool around here. However, we always have that special first day. Like I say, we are gonna start school back our fresh <laughs> school year, the first week of September. So that's my goal. I don't really have a date set in stone, but first week of September. So you'll be seeing that soon. I keep buying these because I think they're fantastic. I think I'll give this to my teenager to put in her handbag or something, but just a little first aid kit in a metal container. I just think they're so cute for $1.25. So another little fun school supply. Some, I thought these were interesting. I thought we would try them for the price. <laughs> so got that. Got some fall crafts from my littles. I have cute littles that just love these kind of things. So I got this one and this one for my two littlest. And then I got these two for my two middles. I thought that they would enjoy decorating that. I might ask my bigs if they want to do something like that as well, but I know for a fact my son does not like artsy things at all. <laughs> so I have needed a clipboard this week. There's been a few times we've been in the car and I needed a kids to do a worksheet or something and I wished I had a clipboard. So there is that. There's also been a couple times recently that I wished I had a safety pin. We have no safety pins in this house, apparently. None. So I was like, I'm going to get this little kit. I saw it in checkout and I was like, we need this. We need this in our life. So I got that. And then I saw this sticker map and I thought this would be fun for school just to, I'm not sure how I'm going to handle this. I might put up one sticker at a time as we talk about that state, maybe once a week, something like that. There's something like that <laughs> for our homeschool. So I was excited about that. I always have a fun gum in my handbag for church to keep my big kids happy. <laughs> so I like to have little fun things in my handbag for church. Clippers, nail clippers. I can't find mine. My children have ran off with them. I had several pairs and I can't find any of them. I actually used my baby nail clippers this morning to clip my fingernails because guys, I was gardening and I was pulling up peppermint. I've been collecting all of those herbs and fire ants went under my fingernails and they bit me to pieces and I was cut. I had to cut off my fingernails. I, I did have somewhat longer fingernails. Um, oh my goodness. So incredibly painful. So many bites under my fingernails. Uh, <laughs> so my nails are a mess right now. That was painful. And anyways, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you're interested in that, but that is why I bought the nail clippers and that is why my hands look bad. So <laughs> I bought some freeze dried fruit, three packages. I got two of the mixed and one of the apple because I have some children that just really enjoy that. One thing of dish soap, you know why. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have a thing of Kleenexes. We never have Kleenexes around here. And I was like, it might be nice to have some Kleenexes. So we usually just grab hankies or a toilet paper. So we have proper Kleenexes. Yay for us. Two things of parchment paper. Again, with all of the fun school supplies because that is coming up. I do have more Costco. Okay, I told you. I have stuff on the windowsill. That's where we're at. Organic berry blend, mangoes and dark sweet cherries and the yogurt are for smoothies. We love smoothies. And I told you my blender's broken, but the good news is I have a food processor. And yes, yes you can make smoothies and a food processor. <laughs> and my children love it, especially when it's so hot right now. And what a healthy treat with the organic yogurt and all the organic berries. And the berries and the fruit are so well priced in this frozen section. Some chicken melts for my kiddos. It'll be an easy lunch for them. We'll get two lunches out of that. Yeah, two lunches. My big kids might have an extra one here or there. That'll be good. I'll put some sides with it, some fruit or maybe one of those salads or something. Just something easy for one day. We haven't had hamburgers in a while, so I thought that that would be good as well. All right, thrift store. Okay, this sounds crazy, but I am somewhat new to the world of thrifting. Growing up, my parents never went to a thrift store. I don't know why. And I was under the impression the only real thrift store was Goodwill. I know, I know, <laughs> and I've never really been to one until about two years ago, and now I'm obsessed because it's like the garage sale, the amazing garage sale that I never knew existed, and if you know anything about me at this point, 
I am obsessed with books. <laughs> I love going to library sales. I live for a good library sale. And I went into this thrift store. It was the best thrift store I feel like I've ever been into. And they had bags of books. These books range anywhere from 75 cents a bag to I think the most expensive bag was $2.99. Most bags are $1.49. That's amazing. It's an entire bag of books for like $1.50. So there, I looked through these. These are the ones, they have like a whole wall, right? <laughs> and I looked through these bags and I liked most of what was in each bag. I'm sure there's a few that I will pick out and redonate or <laughs> give away. But for the most part, I was so excited. Guys, it is just a bag. Of, look, look at this. It's $1.29 for this whole big bag of books. Oh my goodness, I can't even tell you. Look, Secret Bible Journeys, Deborah. Oh my goodness. And this is probably the only bag I got for myself. I actually need to start focusing on getting more adult books, I've decided. However, I don't feel like they had many there today. But I definitely need, if you have a good, by the way, <laughs> if you have a good adult book recommendation that is clean and wholesome <laughs> for me, let me know in the comments. I would love a good, I love to read biographies and you know, how to and raising children better type books, but I'm kind of craving a good fiction book. If you know of a good wholesome fiction book that I might like, let me know in the comments because I would love to buy it. So I got this, it was a whole bag. How much was it? A dollar twenty-nine of gardening books. It's Texas bug book is in there as well. Shade gardening, all about shrubs, all about trees, low maintenance gardens. $1.29. So excited. I get so excited by books. Look, I, I won't talk about each of these, I promise. Oh, I will talk about this one. I did get a couple books that weren't in a bag. They were $1.49 each. It's about kind of those odd women in the Bible, odd moms that weren't quite perfect, but they were fabulous. And I thought, well, that could be a really good read. God's redemptive grace in the lives of five biblical mothers. Yay. So I got excited about that. And then, I'm sorry, it's dark. It's getting late here and I'm losing my lighting. Um, two borrowers of books. And I just, I love this. I love borrowers. I'm hoping my daughters will as well. And then my son loves things like this. Survival stories, sharks. And I just saw him reading this. And again, for $1.49, I just feel like you can't go wrong. Guys, the bags of books. I just, I'm so excited. Oh, this is one more I got because I'm, this person, I like to know all of the things. <laughs> so I got that for a dollar for as well. Oh, and look, even back here, this has all of the, um, what are they called? Who was books, but this is where is the Bermuda Triangle, kind of those older kid readers, but they looked, they looked good. Guys, all of the beautiful books. I am building a library. Yes, I am. I am building a library. It is one of my life goals to own a library. I would love to build a house that has a library. I I want that kind of bell from Beauty and the Beast moment where I walk into my big library and it's just filled with books from top to ceiling. I want this, life goals. But until then, I'm just gonna keep buying bookshelves and I'm gonna fill my house with books, yay. <laughs> so this is where I'm not a minimalist. I feel like you can never have too many good books. And I love that Charlotte Mason homeschool philosophy I always talk about where I just throw good living books at my children and let them read for knowledge and we read together. Um, that's a big part of our homeschooling and I love that. And it's just, it's fun. And I want my children to grow up and keep learning and reading good things. So hopefully I'm instilling that in them through our time together. All right, guys, there it is. There is my big shop, my 12 hour rendezvous today. But like I said, drove afar, gathered the things afar, living out that Proverbs 31 woman life. But guys, tomorrow, I still have one more haul to share with you. I am going to Walmart and all day, there's more to come. So intermission. Have you been waiting to show me your drawing? Yeah. What did you draw, Pumpkin? I draw the day because it's 49 and at night there's little fireworks. <gasps> you drew the daytime and the nighttime of 4th of July? Yep, and the, the little young ones are stars. That is beautiful. You are quite the artist. The little cartoons. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time, guys. Bye. <laughs>
Johnny Bryan.